In this week's video, you're going to see everything from friends just having a great time together to one of our classic hunts and my favorite recipe for pigeon. There is no way anyone can eat this and not love it. day without me somehow wrangling you into something um well there was uh no no <laughs> so no, no, no. today we're moving the big old girl out that door right no way that's why we have the sledge and the saws though oh there it is yeah that's what i'm talking about we gotta keep taking this wall down Shut the door and body slam it. <laughs> That's a no. Are you okay? <laughs> Boy, is that bad? I think he broke every bone in his body. <laughs> it didn't even sound that hard on this side. It was just oh, like thud. he bounced off of that thing like a rubber ball, but I think it's caught right on the stud right there. Here, wait yeah, a second, why it's don't we push it this way? Okay, we can push it in. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, we gotta shut the door. Where, where are you, Norm? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I think you wanted the door to be latched. <laughs> yeah, wait. Make sure it latches. Do you have a thing that we can... There, now it's latched. Yeah, bar through it. <laughs> and, uh, is there a bolt you have that we can... There you yeah, go. That's really gonna hold it. There. Yeah, that's Ready? gonna hold it. I see our gun shy. <laughs> <laughs> now your gun shy. Like yeah! One more, big guy. Whoa! Yeah! Mr. T. Mr. T. Well done, sir. Thank you. <laughs> that 220 box. We gotta try and drag it down through this corridor. I think it's gonna be fun. Woo! Come on, man! <laughs> Did you see that? He's a scaredy cat. <laughs> Even though we all really wanted to hunt, the work just kept piling on, and it was like we couldn't find something that we didn't have to do right then and there. So we spent that whole day working. But luckily, Bob was going to be in town in a couple days, and it gave us the perfect excuse to go after some birds. Listen, anything uh, 30 yards and over, I'm going to take a shot at it. Anything under 30 yards, I'm going to try and throw the gun and just knock them out with this. Wait. It's your gun, that right? That gun? No. Yeah, no, no. I'm just going to throw it that way. The risk of ruining the meat won't, it oh, won't be there. Oh, that's a good idea. I know, right? I don't know what these two big studs think of it. I don't know how we're going to be for scope cam footage. That's okay. Scope cam's not the important part today. We're just trying to get... Should I just go for a headshot? Uh, basin, no. He's down. There's yes. two in there. There's two in there. Oh, there is? Yeah. Get another. Flew out. Oh, See yeah. It? Oh, one's in the silo. There you go, on top. He just went up top. So we'll get that this. one in a this sec. Way. Yeah, we'll go over here. Yeah. Two makes a better meal than one. <laughs> Seal team six. <laughs> oh, man. You can barely see it. Back up a little. Oh, it's clean. Must have just brushed his head. I could see it. Here he comes. Going around the side. Going up. Oh, 
Oh yeah, nice, Steve. Dead as a door now, buddy. Good shot, bud. 66 yards, we got dinner. Yeah, yeah. Catch, clean, cook, baby. Oh, I see feathers. Oh, he just hit the base of the silo. Did he? Yeah, hard too. Yeah. Catch, clean, cook, baby. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad the pressure was on there, man. Yeah, the pressure was on. That? that cranked him. Six power. Six power magnification, too. <laughs> How far was that, Keith? 66 yards. 66 yards. With a 25 grain pellet. Yeah, baby. 25 cal crown continuum. Steve picked him off today. from yep. over there. So we should have at least two to cook up, and if there's one at the home farm. When I, when I shot at that one on the silo, I literally just had the top dome part of his head, and I could see the pellet just go and just brush right over oh, the top. Oh, yeah. Had that been an eighth of an inch That's lower. That's as clean as could you be good. Oh, right? yeah. First, I thought you were being serious. I'm like, I saw him die up there. What are you talking about? What you see was feathers from the other side. I was like, he missed. Oh, um, whack. That's an awesome shot. And that other one kind of fell right, down into the right. right. There he is. Right there. You know something? That was a good shot, Steve. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Talking about pressure, too. Like, so, you know, Friday we were supposed to do this video, and yeah. somebody wanted to work all day instead of actually do a video. We won't say any names, will we, Steve? I tell you what. Uh, no, but it wasn't me and it wasn't you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good friends to have is all I'm going to say. Let's go back to the farm if there's another one. Great. If not, we already got plenty for some bourbon cream sauce pigeon breast, baby. Here, mm. wait, wait, wait. Are you still rolling? You yeah. Still rolling? Here. We got some uh, wood truck as a size here, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little, a little, a little dip. <laughs> I think that one got overcooked in the sun. It's jerky at this point. <laughs> So Steve made good shots on these, I think. I think our breasts are gonna be nice and intact. So the way I like to do it is not pluck the whole bird and go crazy, just go after the breast meat. And uh, wonder what way the wind's blowing. I know, <laughs> I mean, I look like <laughs> I got hit by a pool. <laughs> and this breast bone is gonna be our guide. So we're gonna put an incision on either side. And then there's a spot for your finger to go in and that breastbone hits the bottom right there and you just kind of peel it away with your thumb the whole time so on like a scale of one to ten how easy it is to clean this oh really easy because like this this breast is almost done already because now all i have to do is separate that filet of meat from the skin and it's done Thank you. <laughs> cool. I'm already tasting a pigeon. Oh my god, it's nasty. <laughs> Ooh. Just a little quick clean rinse in the sink. So I just do this because it makes it a lot easier to get the small dices that I want. You just kind of hold it together, do slices all the way through, and then you can just kind of rock the knife and you've got these nice little diced pieces because that's going to add a lot of flavor and kind of balances out the irony taste that some pigeons can have. And if that doesn't do it, the bourbon will. <laughs> <laughs> Hit them good with salt, pepper. A, a nice li liberal seasoning. Yep. No, because it's a lot of this is going to come off and that's okay because it's going to come off into our bourbon cream sauce. Nice. So we're going to get a sear on them. We're going to just rub it in a little bit so we can stick some of it. There's plenty on the plate for the other side. Now, when you say you put some on liberally, can you do some conservatively too? I can do some conservatively, but it ends up being just like too rational. You know? Oh. <laughs> I think it's only fair, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's only fair to Fox News. <laughs> 
Oh, a little more pepper, a little more Oh, you're salt. doing it wrong. You gotta like hold it over your yeah. arm like this. Yes, you gotta do it like Wait, that. Wait, we do it. We do this. Yes, yes, do it like that. So like S salt guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> lovely arm hair. It's gotta, yeah, it's gotta roll down yeah. and take some of the veiny so goodness. Weird. All right, so we've got them seasoned. We have our onions chopped, ready to go. A dash of brown sugar. We've got some fresh minced garlic and some chicken stock from my chickens. And we're gonna sear these off, get a nice quick brown on both sides in a hot pan with some oil and butter. And then we're gonna put this stuff in right here, simmer that down, add some stock, get away from all this <laughs> stuff. And then we finish it off with the bourbon, of course. Then we add some half and half or cream if we had it, cook it down until it gets into a nice sauce. And then this goes back in just to warm up. So let's get over to the stove. So we're gonna let this butter get nice and melted and really hot just before it kind of wants to burn. I want it nice and hot so that when I put those breasts in there, you get a sear on it, but we're not trying to cook this pigeon breast all the way through because we don't want to dry it out and make it nasty. We just want to have some delicious brownies on the end. All right, so we've got our butter nice, melted, hot. So we're gonna, see that sound? That's what we were looking for. You want to hear it sizzle right away. You know what's funny is, like, every time you see Bob in a video, you're like, he's a big guy. And the first time I met him, I was like, he's a big guy. Yeah. But then you forget how big he really yeah, no, is. Bob, Bob's like, like he's yeah. like, and his shoulders yeah, are, yeah, he's a big guy. yeah, it's just crazy. He's huge. So after these are seared off, we're going to move them over onto a paper towel. Let those chill right there. We're going to add the chopped onions, garlic, and brown sugar and let these simmer down. And after we get these onions to go to translucent, we are going to add that chicken stock. Let it cook until the uh, chicken stock's reduced by half. And we're on the road to deliciousness. Now we're gonna add this chicken stock. It's not a whole lot, because remember the whole idea is that we make something thick later. Um, but we're gonna let this cook and steam off until it reduces by about half. And then we'll add the fun part, the burger. Okay. So I just wanna show you that, you know, it has thickened up quite a bit. That's what I'm talking about, reducing the stock by half. Now it's bourbon time. You could measure it or you could just say, I like bourbon and pour a bunch in so that you get that flavor to carry through because the alcohol is going to cook off. It's not like that's, you're going to get- I really like bourbon. Yeah, that's I really like bourbon. And again, it's not an alcoholic meal. The alcohol is burning off right now, but we want those barrel flavors to come through in the dish. So that's why. Now, wouldn't you say more like I'm a drunk with the second pour? No, if I was a drunk, I would have taken a swim oh, myself okay. before I put it down. I've just got, hey, where is my glass? Oh no, it's empty. Yeah, that's what I mean. Not we for get, long. We gotta, have, we gotta take you to a meeting. Cheers. <laughs> All right, so we've got our bourbon cooked down. We've got the chicken stock. It's almost thick now. We're gonna add a bunch of half and half, or you can use heavy cream if you wanna cut the cooking time down. That is about right, a little dab more, because I always like to have a little more for whatever reason. So this right here is where we're gonna start. We're gonna cook this until, when we drag this across, there's a big wide open space that doesn't fill back in. It's almost like making a gravy, but we're just trying for a creamy sauce. And then we're gonna toss those pigeon breasts back into this and let them roll around in it for a little while, come back up to heat, but without overcooking them. And then uh, time to eat yummy things called pigeon breast. All right, so we're about Three quarters of the way there. We've got nice bubbling, but we're not, we're moving it constantly to not let it burn. And when you pull across, see how that doesn't want to fill right back in? Actually, in the last two seconds, that kind of got exactly where I wanted it to be. So now we're going to add back in these pigeon breasts and we're going to let them come back up to be warm to the mouth, but we're not trying to like cook them more because we still really want them to be in the medium to medium rare zone. So we're gonna let them sop up a ton of this flavor and every single one of these is gonna be just drenched in these good pieces as we eat, so happy days. All right, so we've got these confidently back up to temperature and the way I like to plate it is you take each breast, 
and get just a ton of these sauteed down onions and garlic over top. So with each bite, you get just a really rich flavor the whole time. And if I've done my job correctly, Bolt, you gotta get out of here, buddy. If I've done my job correctly, these will still be at least a little pink in the center. So Norm's not a big fan of onions at all. But I'm willing to try them. Yeah, so we'll see what he thinks. Ooh, looks good. Let's try it out. Yeah. That is delicious. No <laughs> right? doubt about it. <laughs> Isn't that so good? Oh my god. Bourbon cream god, sauce. Oh my before? god, that is del never. Oh, this really? is my first time trying this. Yeah. And Keith knows I hate onions and I've never tried pigeons, but this is yeah. amazing. Wait till you try this. Bob's been outside shooting the whole time because he's so sick of being stuck in a truck. <laughs> oh my god, that's right. <laughs> here, put that on the table and get at it while it's hot. I got a plate here right for you. Did you kill any? I did. Yeah, sweet. All right, I'll go put it away. Okay. <laughs> it's like a little Got kid at a candy store. Do I have to? Yeah, just for a minute. I mean, you can go back out there while I cook our steaks, but I need to. You yeah, it's fine right there. Mm, God. My wife's Please. totally used to me taking over, right? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> It's no joke. Right? That really is amazing. Oh Thanks, my buddy. god. All right, we got another knife and fork here. Steve, yeah, I got you set up right there. Steve. Right here? Yeah. Oh, all right, here we go. Holy smokes. That's okay. almost as good as the garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> almost as good. He's a like, if there was one thing that could take you down in this world, oh, yeah. it would be garlic bread. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Alright, I'm gonna get a nice bite here. Now, I've never had pigeon before either, so... Oh. It tastes like iguana, doesn't it? <laughs> he never had that either. <laughs> what do you think? Honest. It's good, it just... Everything just mixes so nice. Yeah, the bourbon and the cream and the brown <laughs> sugar, the onions and that garlic. If you don't oh, man, like it, good. I'll have the rest of it, Steve. Oh, no, that's good, man. That's good. <laughs> awesome. Now I just need Bob to try it and see what's up. So is this the one I shot? Bob, you didn't shoot anybody. <laughs> that's, that's I mean, you, well, no, technically you did shoot one. It just flew away. You <laughs> no, trimmed a few feathers. No, the one you shot still flying around. Yeah, 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 that was not the one that um, Steve ended up cleaning up, and then he got into the other one, too. No, I could say, is this the one I shot at? Right? Oh, Steve, yeah, yes. Probably. Because you shot at a lot of them. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> All out of love. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that medium rare goodness. And that's the same way that I'd want to eat duck and goose, like this bourbon cream sauce oh, recipe. Well, I, can, I can smell it already. It by it's going to be It's going to be delicious. Is that as good as the skunk Keith cooked last week? <laughs> I wasn't here last week. So I don't know. Well, I can tell you this. It doesn't taste like the pigeon I cooked with just butter and plain rice. <laughs> it's great. Isn't it awesome? I, if you didn't tell me or, you know, I was unsuspecting, I would never guess it was pigeon. To me, yeah, it tastes a thing. lot like, like wood duck or, you know, some type of waterfowl with that same kind of, you know, dark oh. meat. No, it's great. Oh yeah, it's yeah, delicious. Did you cook this? Yeah, man. Man, it's uh, like I said when I cook the pigeons that I ate off some of the other farms. You know, like you shoot like twenty of them, and there's like one good one out of there. Right. Yeah. And um, I just cooked it up just with a little bit of butter, fried it in a pan, and then put some, put it with some rice. I mean, it was so plain. Yeah, but plain. I mean, plain's cool to experience the animal. Um, but I've just had a bunch of pigeon and duck and goose, and so this is kind of my go-to recipe for whenever I'm cooking those darker fowl meats. And uh, oh yeah, it's, it's delicious. Thanks, man. But that was that's this is what the the appetizer round, right? The oh yeah, what's that's the, the appetizer. Course. Don't worry, <laughs> we've we've got a full dinner to come.
So normally when I have guests of, you know, Bob's caliber, here, oh, yeah. then I cook up ribeye. Um, well, but wait a second, what'd you, what'd you feed me last time then? <laughs> ribeye. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't worry. Yeah. No, but this is, these are chuck eye steaks out of seven year old grass fed animals and like the marble is just stupid. So there's a whole bunch of connective tissue through the middle. You can see it right here. But these pockets of meat, are so good and flavorful because they're from the front shoulder that works really hard. So you get a ton of awesome beef flavor uh, with a little bit of chew, which I like. It's like drinking whiskey without a burn to me if it's too tender, like filet's not my thing. These are the best, I think, anyway. But Norm's addicted to the ribeye, so we'll oh, see yeah. what says. And I get a little burn when I drink these too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Steve described bourbon as a little <laughs> sweet, a little corn, and a lot of burn. Yeah, it is. it's sweet, and they're a little salty. I could taste the corn and a lot of burning too. <laughs> <laughs> An acquired taste. And you know, you need like more than, I don't know. I don't know what the... Well, you were saying this was a special batch here. What, what you called it the... Yeah, this is that's the Queen's Run. So that is the tales of every run saved and then rerun. And if you've ever moonshine, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I'm not going to explain it here, but it's really good. It used to be reserved for royalty, so... Oh, yeah, yeah well... Well, you got royalty. Yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, clearly, be. I got the trifecta <laughs> used to me. right here. Yeah. <laughs> Pigeon was absolutely phenomenal, but appetizer. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't do this, main. built this into the design. Meal. I'm thinking, does that make you happy, so, bud? Oh my Ruby's god, yes. Center <laughs> but, you know, the pigeon was great and all, but a bunch of hungry men. Two, two right, pigeons. We're gonna do another gonna before do and after. See if what do you think? Right, yeah, yeah. Can, yeah. I, can, I, can I eat it? Can I eat it all? I think so. Oh yeah. <laughs> Give, given your history, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. So, yep. What do you think, Bob? You got it? No problem? Oh, yeah. No, pro no problem. <laughs> right. Steve, man. Yeah. You don't disappoint lately. I know, man. Honestly, I don't think Norm gives you enough credit. I don't whoop his ass. You know, <laughs> I may be skinny, but I eat twice as much as him. You know, it, 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 it's just as strong as him. I was going to say, I'm stronger than him. Yeah. Listen, man. Well, look at these things. <sighs> I mean, there's really there... look close. Do you have Zoom? <laughs> listen, listen. There, there's about to be big problems here, Norm. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know, maybe I'm not. like a spider monkey. I'll just... Well, I'm not going to tell you my strategy now, but... Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, no, I'm not going to tell you my strategy at the uh, Armac... Uh, I'll USC share place. my strategy with you. Yeah? I will definitely put your dentist in a higher tax bracket. <laughs> <laughs> listen, <Jeez>. listen. <laughs> You're gonna look awful strange picking up your teeth with broken fingers. Yeah? <laughs> well, I think maybe let's take this bourbon away from him, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was really good, I think. Yeah, it, it was, was delicious, although this one here, he's had a little bit too much bourbon. Yeah, Steve is uncontrollable. <laughs> yeah, right, buddy? <laughs> He's gonna, gonna get, sleep tonight, right? He's gonna get sick. I got his keys. Don't that's, worry. That's actually bourbon in your hand that you're shaking, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, shaking that yeah. He needs water in Advil. Yeah. Not more of that. No. <laughs> Till next time. We're out. We're out. We're out. <laughs> Three, two. Done. Done. Done.